Welcome to our hometown of Halton Hills, Ontario, which is described as small town living at its best. We're going to show you why Halton Hills is the perfect day trip destination in Ontario. Halton Hills has two urban centres, Georgetown and Acton, and three hamlets. We're starting our trip in one of those hamlets, Glen Williams. Kit's Little Kitchen is a cute cafe owned by Catherine, aka Kit. She lovingly creates simple homemade meals and desserts. We stopped by for a coffee, which was delicious. As Glen Williams is a small place, you can walk from one end to the other in about 15 minutes. Explore Main Street and be sure to admire the beautiful Credit River. Our next stop was Williams Mill Creative Art Studios, which is an entire destination in itself. Williams Mill unites visitors with the artists themselves as this is a working art studio and art gallery all in one. Williams Mill is divided across several heritage buildings where each artist has their own booth and workspace. I'm grateful to have met so many amazing artists on my visit. I love being able to learn about their creative processes and what inspires them. Be sure to stop by the art studios for painters, textile artists, jewelers, potters, the stone cutter studio, and the glass blowing workshop, Glen Williams Glass. Next up, Main Street Market. It's a cafe and handmade marketplace all in one. Then pop over to Feathered Nest Furnishings inside the historic Beaumont Knitting Mill building to find upcycled, new, and previously loved home decor and furnishings. It's time for a lunch break. Copper Kettle Pub is Glen Williams' neighborhood pub with the best patio in town. There's locally brewed beer and an excellent menu with something for every taste. We departed Glen Williams and drove minutes down the road to Silver Creek Conservation Area. One of the trails here is a section of the popular Bruce Trail. You'll discover lush forests and beautiful scenic lookouts. Let's head over to nearby Acton with its cute Main Street shops and restaurants. One restaurant to check out is Tanner's Restaurant and Catering. They've got a fantastic patio and drinks and food to match the excellent vibes. I love that they had yummy vegan options. Acton's Prospect Park and Ferry Lake offer great outdoor activities right in town. Go canoeing or kayaking on the lake or go for a walk. Either way, you'll enjoy the tranquil scenery all around. From Acton to Georgetown, Furnace Room Brewery is a must-visit spot for beer lovers. Sample award-winning local craft beer, including year-round favorites and seasonal varieties. They've also got great events like live music, trivia nights, and more. On Saturday mornings from June through October, the Georgetown Farmer's Market is the place to be. Located in downtown Georgetown, the street is closed and vendors set up their booths. You'll find locally grown seasonal produce, handmade wares, live music, and it feels like the whole town comes out every week. The downtown shops are also open for business. Pop into Silver Creek Social House, an adorable coffee shop in downtown Georgetown for light bites, caffeinated beverages, and sweet treats. Inside the popular hobby shop, The Hooded Goblin, you'll find a hidden gem in the basement. There's a whole record store down there. JNS Records has new and used vinyl featuring both new artists and your favorite classic rock bands. Plant lovers rejoice. Foliage Living is an entire shop dedicated to indoor houseplants. I love the lush greenery all over the shop and you can transform your home into a plant paradise. Another hidden gem in Georgetown is the Helsin Gallery. This art gallery is located inside the public library and features rotating exhibitions of local art, private collections, and traveling exhibitions. The last stop on our trip through Halton Hills is Andrews Farm Market and Winery. Yes, Halton Hills has its own winery. Andrews Scenic Acres is 165 acres of pick your own fruits, flower fields, and so much more. You can visit multiple times a year for different experiences depending on what's in season. Their Sunflower Kingdom is spectacular. There's nothing quite like being surrounded by thousands upon thousands of blooms. Go for a walk through their corn maze, but try not to get lost. Pick your own fruits depending on what's in season. It was apples for us, but it could also be strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, or pumpkins. For a unique perspective, take a scenic wagon ride around the property. We drove past all those gorgeous sunflowers, but you could drive past fruit fields or the pumpkin patches on your visit. And Andrews Winery is the only winery in Halton region. They produce quality fruit wines from fruit grown on the farm. Pop by their winery to try a sample of their fruit wines, dessert wines, and their signature red and white wines. We hope we've convinced you to make a day trip to Halton Hills, a place we're so happy to call home.